This is me, Ariana. The day I got my surgery, a thunderstorm hit my city. The doctor said to my parents not to be worried. The procedure was simple, and the hospital had a solid generator. I was free. They put me on a drip of Desfloran, and I fell asleep. When I woke up, my life would be different. The day I got the surgery was February the 17th. Whilst the surgeon was putting on his gloves, using his scalpel, and placing a silicone model to recreate my genitals. In Philadelphia, the world champion Gary Gasparov was beating the deep blue supercomputer in a chess match. That same day, in other times of history, events way more significant than a small sex reassignment happened in this world. In 1600, the philosopher Giordano Bruno was burned to the stake in Rome. In 1904, in a cold, snowy evening in Milan, Okay, not this Milan, that's in Ohio. The other one, right, this one. In a cold, snowy evening in Milan, Madame Butterfly had its premiere at the Scala. It was another world. The day I got my surgery, my parents gave me this. Unaware of it, I was born with a syndrome called 5-alpha reductus deficiency. I know it sounds more like a planet's name. To make it simple, this syndrome inhibits certain hormones to do their job. So although I was born with XY chromosomes, like every male in this world, I looked like a girl. With a small detail, my genitals were hybrid. Why make it an issue, the doctor said. If I look like a girl in every aspect of my body, why not fix that small detail as well? And so they did. The day I got surgery, they made me the little girl they wanted. The girl I was not. Hermaphrodite. That's what I heard I was. What I discovered later was that hermaphrodites were the first beings on Earth, male and female at once. In mythology, they were considered perfect creatures. They were human and divine. Saints and damned. Writers talked about them. <laughs> His book, Middlesex, about a girl like me, won the Pulitzer Prize in 2002. The day I got surgery, even my father knew that hermaphrodites existed in nature, like snails, groupers, worms, and many kind of plants. The day I got surgery, at least 74 other children were born with similar conditions. In the world, there are almost 3 million people like me, same as the population of cities like Berlin, Rome, Chicago, or like the state of New Mexico. Suggested by doctors, my parents never told me about my surgery until it didn't work out anymore. I was 17 when I found out that the hope of getting my period was merely a dream. I was 17 when I first saw my favorite film ever. I was 17 when I made love for the first time and found out that sex was only a pain for me. I was 17 when I had to face the truth on my own. But you're gonna have to wait to see how it happened. Cause that's my story.